Saturday morning craziness. We had to go this morning to the YMCA. I had to teach lessons. And while I was teaching, Colton did his workout. Because um, he missed swim team this week. How was the workout, Colton? Hard, sweaty, and wet. Why was it hard? Because I had to do two days of work. Did you miss two practices? I didn't want to miss Tuesday or Thursday. I wanted to miss today. Oh, well, it wasn't that bad of a workout. Actually, it kind of was. You were teaching some little kids, Kaylee. I was teaching Kaylee. She had her first swimming lesson today, and I didn't get any videos because um, I was in the water, but it was super cute. My niece Kaylee, video. and we're going to try to upload it, but my niece Kaylee had her first swimming lesson today, and she was super adorable, and um, Ian said she just loved it. I said, of course she would, because water is awesome. And we are on our way right now to get haircuts, and since we have uh, no food at the house because we need to go grocery shopping, I asked the kids, I said, where do you want to go to lunch? Normal kids, oh, I want to go to McDonald's, I want to go to Burger King. My kids, Subway, well, we did volunteer Burger King. Subway is their absolute favorite restaurant to go to. And I don't know if anybody oh, else, is it fast food? Anyways, I don't know if anybody else has this, but my kids will eat an entire foot long Subway and they love it. So I took a vlog of all of the vegetables that they put on their sandwiches and it's still to me, it just blows my mind that everyone else is like, oh, Dairy Queen, McDonald's, Burger King. My kids, hmm, can we have Subway? <laughs> like, it's just the craziest thing to me. So, uh, yeah, they got lots and lots of vegetables. And I do think it's kind of cool that the kids get to pick what they want. But we're going to go get haircuts. My hair is going to get thinned with uh, a razor because it's massive, massive, massively thick. And Colton, let's see all your long hair. Run your fingers through it. On your fingers here, let's see all the long hair everywhere. Gonna get a haircut. Um, I will start with tomatoes. What kid asks for all these vegetables on their sandwiches? Me. Lettuce. Lettuce, yeah. Whatever that is. It's, if it is lettuce. <laughs> yes, it's lettuce. Cucumbers? This is their favorite restaurant to go to. It's not a restaurant, it's a fast food. Okay. Uh, pickles and black olives. Yeah. Alright, so first. Your turn. Whatever you want. I will have spinach, green, what are these? Green peppers. Green yep. peppers. Spinach. What eight-year-old puts spinach on him? So you got spinach. Okay. Ooh, and I could probably put some lettuce on it. <laughs> Everything green on there, right? Black olives, tomatoes. Then we go. Yep, then that's it. No. No sauce? Nope, no sauce. Mustard? Okay. We're just getting out. I got my hair cut and thin. I know you can't see it too well, but I had her put it in braids because I'm going now right back into the swimming pool for lifeguard training. But I got my Dutch braids. Ooh. Colton, let's see. Whoa, styling, profiling. I love how short she cuts it. You weirdo. And tofurronis and cheese. Did not get a haircut, but she did get turned all the way around. Braids. Oh, look how pretty that is. Jordan's so awesome. So if you need a good stylist, uh, we've been coming to Jordan for about four or five years now, and she's amazing with kids' cuts, and it's right here on the old, I don't know what road this is, Henderson on Henderson in Mount Zion. Happy Saturday, everybody. I just got off work not too long ago, but I went to go wash my car after work to get that winter grime off. Um, it's pretty easy to see on my car. I have a white SUV, so that means all of the garbage that collects over the winter time, the, the grit and the grime, you know, it just really shows up well on a white car. Um, it's just like this, even if you spray it down with a power washer, hey, look, I even got my, my windows are cracked open. It's nice outside. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> just got off topic, but... Uh, 
I think I was talking about washing my car or something about uh, the grit and grime. Yeah, even washing it down, you can't, you can't just wash it off, even with the power um, the power hose that they have at the, the, the wash where you get out and do it yourself. Even the power wash does not get the grit and grime off. You have to use good old-fashioned elbow grease. And that's getting down there on your hands and knees and using your hands to really scrub that junk off your car. Uh, it's the only way to get that off for me, anyway. Uh, I don't know about you guys and your cars, but, yeah, you really got to scrub that on my car. Uh, the uh, uh, wheels as well, they are also a complete disaster. Had to use some really deep-cutting grease uh, washer for that. So it's looking pretty nice now. It's, it's shining. Hopefully we can keep uh, the weather staying nice. That's way I don't have to get back out and wash it again. Um, so let me know, do you guys do a lot of manual washing your cars, or do you prefer to take it through the, the drive through washes? Those can add up. I mean, I was looking at prices the other day, and just the starting price for one of those is $10. And, like, the, the Mega Super Wash, it does the whole, everything you can want for your car is, like, $32. That's way too much to spend on an automatic car wash when you can do it yourself for pennies on the dollar. Let me know which one you prefer. It'd be nice to, to get a consensus as to, <laughs> am I in the minority here when it comes to washing the car with good old fashioned hands and scrubbing? Leave a comment. And because it's another awesome, uh, you can't see, it's, it's nighttime. <laughs> um, it's another awesome nighttime out. I'm outside without wearing a coat. And grilling again. I'm grilling burgers. I make my burgers. This is two pounds of beef right here. So each burger is one third of a pound. Um, kids eat them. I eat them. Goose eats them. We all like them. One third pound. I usually eat two of them. Colton does two of them. And Goose and Sophia will eat one. So one third pound burgers are pretty thick. They are very juicy. So this is also from our cow that we get from uh, Moikwa Packing Plant. And it's excellent, excellent beef. I will never go back to store-bought beef. Cheeseburgers are done. Yummy cheese! Mommy made some tots. Colton's building a burger. Ultimate. Stacked up. I'm going to eat some burgers here. Yeah. Snap me a tater top. You should put a tear towel on your burger. Jalapeno ketchup on mine with some nice. mustard and uh, pickles. Mm -hmm. You should put a tear towel on yours, a couple. Maybe. Bon appetit. Okay, somebody wanted to try some jalapeno ketchup on their potatoes, thinking they're hot stuff, so go ahead. Pretty good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Don't need a drink yet, huh? Watch this. Oh, that's surprising. You're feel the burn. Huh? Feel the burn. You're actually tolerating it pretty well, huh? I can see redness. No? I can see redness coming from Boom. the Boom! Oh, yeah, you have to use that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Yeah, you're just waiting for me to turn off the camera. Well, we ain't turned that off. <laughs> Too spicy for Colton. Uh, but it's a fear cunt. I need Okay, we're going to end our day. Everybody's wrapped up in, in blankets, except for me. Colton's got something on his head. And we're going to watch the movie Talladega Nights. And Colton's going to learn where we get the phrase shake and bake from. And other stuff. Yeah, maybe. So... Shake and bake. Literally, where you bake and shake. Yeah, shake and bake. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Remember, don't feed your gremlins. Burgers after midnight.